just uh, put them in a couple of weeks ago and uh, just testing them out. Now, we have a big tree that's up over my head here, and I'll show you in a minute. And it's kind of a late, uh, late dropper, I guess you could say. So there hasn't been a lot of leaves fallen yet, but a few have come down. Uh, so far, everything's staying pretty clear. So I'll just show you a couple of kinds that I have here. Um, now, so the first one, or this section here that we put in is the uh, leaf solution. And it slides up underneath the shingles. And as I've shown in some other videos, it has a stainless steel mesh with some aluminum over the top. So it just fits down right over the top of the eaves trough. And it actually matches the angle of the roof. So that makes it very easy for any little leaves to just continue floating right off the top. So really there's nothing on the top of this one. Uh, it seems to be working really well. And if we look around the roof, there's uh, you know, just a few little pieces of uh, leaves and stuff sitting around, but not too much. And then uh, this little probably 10 foot section, we put in some uh, smart screen. Now we don't really install smart screen so much, it's not really, we don't really consider it a professional product, but you can pick that up at the uh, Canadian Tire, um, I think primarily. And uh, it goes underneath the shingles more or less as well. It uh, fastens down on the front and sits fairly flat. Um, it's tipped up a little bit here, but it, it sits fairly flat. Um, now those, there is some leaves sitting on top, but with a little bit of a breeze, I'm sure that those will be able to blow off. The holes are fairly large. You just want to be very cautious using that product in a uh, heavily, uh, a heavy pine tree area, as I'm sure a lot of the pine needles would make it down through there. And just a comparison of the different angles. This is the leaf solution that sits on an angle, and then the uh, smart screen right beside it. So the good thing with the leaf solution is that it, the, the mesh is so fine that there will be no granules or no pine needles or any kind of dirt that will go down into the eaves trough. Also a side-by-side -side of the smart screen and the T-Rex right there. The good thing with this T-Rex is that it installs in the eaves trough before we put it up. So it usually costs a lot less than... Um, say putting all the eaves troughs up and then putting a product like the smart screen or the uh, or the uh, leaf solution which I have down that way putting that in afterwards as a second step so the good thing about the T-Rex is that it's a one-step process and it goes in right as it comes out of the machine so the price is very economical on that product now the holes on the T-Rex you'll notice are quite a bit smaller than the uh, smart screen which is good for keeping pine needles and stuff out. Um, the holes don't actually have to be as large um, as the smart screen's holes in order to drain the water properly. What I'll actually do here is I'll just grab uh, a hose and do a little test and just see how, how the water actually behaves as it comes off the roof and, and how it works along these uh, leaf guards. So first off, I'm just gonna wet the roof so that the water comes off kind of consistently like as though it's a normal rain. If the roof isn't kind of wet it evenly, it doesn't really give an accurate uh, way the water comes off sometimes. Sometimes the water beads and uh, comes down little mini streams which uh, don't really give a good representation. So it's just always nice if you're testing something out to kind of wet the roof down like it would be when it's raining. So first up we'll test the uh, T-Rex the with its capacity. And we're about three shingles from the top here with a full stream of full stream garden hose. And you'll notice that the water is coming off pretty much right in that area and just about all the water is being contained on top of the leaf guard. Now we'll do the same test with the uh, smart screen. And you'll notice the water's all coming in one location. And quite a bit of it seems to be scooting over the top. Now when this can be a problem is in like a valley I'll show situation. You the, little, uh, the little lip that the T-Rex has. It's a, uh, 
That's a little edge here underneath. Probably about a quarter inch. And what that does is it's where the T-Rex clips underneath. And what that does is help hold the water on top of the leaf guard as well. Um, it is a little bit of an edge there which could hold a little bit of debris. But it's more beneficial in some instances to have this uh, lip to hold the water on as compared to maybe some of the other products that lay flat on top where the water can easily skip over. Now on a normal roof, um, if there's no valleys and stuff like that, then this model is probably fine. It's just once you get into a uh, high volume situation, there's a lot of homes have a lot of valleys and such. Next we're going to test out the uh, loose solution. Okay, we got it about three rows from the top. And we can see that it's taking the water completely. There's no spillover over the front.